Okay, so we, um, so, so right now this is how, you know, Tuscany looks like. It wasn't like that before. Um, I cannot get a, a concrete number of the last two because it's changing very, very fast. So just about, um, you know, 10 years ago, I think the Trebbiano Toscano in French is called Un Blanc. That, that is basically the white variety of Tuscany. It was still about 8% and now the total uh, white wine is, is about 4%. So, so it's, really, um, it's really a moving thing. Uh, so there's an increase in Sauvignon Blanc, there's a decrease in Trebbiano Toscano. Um, um, I bet we know Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. We're pretty familiar with that, right? Bordeaux varieties, we live here. Canaiolo Nero is usually a blender that has less tannins and, uh, and it's used to add volume to the Sangiovese, which is really tannic. So this grape variety, right? When we plant this Sangiovese, this is, you know, we, when we say early budding and late ripening, what does that mean? Yes, right? My life is miserable as a winemaker. I have to work for a long time, right? So it requires really long growing season because it's so hard to ripen, but early budding also means in the spring you will have frost issues. So, so you have to struggle with frost, make, which makes your yield, your, your health of your fruit, very, uh, very variable year by year. And late ripening also means what? I, I'd rather wait, but what if it rains? So if it rains, then I cannot get my ideal ripeness. So it's a long season, but it's, it's a long season with a lot of risk at the two ends of the long season. But without having this long season, I cannot ripen my Sangiovese. Mm -hmm. 